All right, today we have High Fleet Leviathan, led by the Swarm Lord. It's a battalion detachment, a winged hive tyrant with dual scything talons, a brood lord with them in troop choices, 18 man gene stealer squad, three very basic, very useful rippers, and then another 18 man gene stealer squad. For elites, we have a four man strong zoanthrope, a lictor, who is very useful in ninth edition now, followed by a, another lictor. In heavy support, we have Carnifex with Venom Cannon, Carnifex with Twin Devour or Death Bitters, and a Biovore right here with all of his little ammunitions, and the Piece de Resistance of the Army, the Scythed Hiradul that was printed over this last week. Ooh, shiny. All right, and then for the chaos side of this Charlie Fox trot that we're calling a battle, we've got two squads of 10 of the new Chaos Space Marines kitted out as the Shadow Spear box. So you've got chain axe, four bolters with chain swords, bolt pistols with chain swords, three normal bolters, a plasma gun, and an auto cannon on both squads. Then we have a slightly reinforced old school Chaos Space Marine with an aspiring leader with power fist. Then a bunch of bolters and then a heavy bolter. We've got our demon prince and I have kitted this guy out. So we're doing the uh, agents of bile. And the demon prince has a demon sword. The Zal the Wraithful. He's got his wings. He's got his warp bolter. He's a supreme creation of ball of bile. So I gave him so that gives him to where he's got a six up fill no pain. And then also, if any models die near him, he gets D3 wounds back. So he might actually survive a battle instead <laughs> of dying nice. in the first two turns like he always does. We have two units of Obliterators, two units of Greater Possessed, a Master Possession, Fabius Bile. What the hell? Where's your Surgeon Acolyte Bile? Dare you come to battle without it. There we go. He's got his little dude. What is his name? What's the hunchback's name? Igor. Igor! Oh, the Igor! Yes! He's got his Igor. And then the big guy himself, the Corn Lord of Skulls. So, should be a lot of fun. Okay, the roll off for attacker and defender. All right, you get to choose. Are you attacker or defender? Uh, I'll be defender. That way I can just say I'm on this side. Even okay. though we know yeah. we're lazy. Yep, we are lazy that way. Okay, then I will bring us back after we have deployment. All right, after deployment, we see the great Chaos Space Marine Army all chilled up on that triangle trying to grab cover because we know I sure as fuck am not getting turn top of turn one. I mean, I'm playing Chaos Space Marines, so the God Emperor hates me even more. And we've got all of this tyrannid grossness including one dude taking up sniper position all the way out here to hurl mines at me and then of course we have our deep strike all right so it is time for the great roll off mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> add one to the add one counter <laughs> As we knew would happen. All right, so. So let's remove all of these deployment markers. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna be good. I don't know why it's gonna suck, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so turn one. Yep, turn one. Movement phase. Let's make sure what my hero can do. Because him being brand new, I've never played him before. Do, 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 do. 
Because he's important to get moving. He has a 12 inch movement. <laughs> that so, is just gross. He is going to plant himself right there. Just roar. Right. He's got nine. So let's move him from there to there. Keep up. He is actually going to hop down. He okay. is a heavy weapon. I don't want him hitting. I want to be dropping spore mines. So giving him as many minuses, yep. it's okay with me. Okay, next up, we got Gene Steelers to move. That works. Okay, first off, this squad is going to be moving an extra one inch. Another one for the counter, except for this will go on Chris's. <laughs> Yay, I get to move. Nope, that's a nine inch movement. Why am I minusing? So just add that. All right. Yeah, he's basically going to stay behind him, so that works for me. The horde of gene sealers. Yep. I play two horde armies. I should be used to this. Yes. Ooh. So it's... I play two damn any damn armies. I'm not used to any of them. <laughs> Oh, when you start playing Orcs, Ed, then you'll have Dude, the funness. Dude, I'm contemplating it since I did buy that Prophecy of the Wolf box. Mm -hmm. All right. For them. Two hey, one more movement. Two more movement. Ha, it, ha, it, makes, ha, ha. it makes it so they're caught up and Broodlord's just yep. nice and chill inside this nice blob of uh, dudes, which yep. works for me. And I was smart today, and I brought the old school gene stealers with my new school gene stealers to tell them apart. Old school, new school, old school. Though it's funny new calling school. them new school because they're still 2009. Yeah. When they were made. All Six right. years. What other shenanigans are you getting up right, to? Right, so. Carnifexes are going to get their little move so they can actually hopefully see something. And he's going to shuffle this way like this. Okay. Hopefully he can see something. He's also got a back shuffle like that. And these guys are just going to float up like this a little bit. All right. We are uh, ready for our psychic shenanigans. And I am nowhere within. <laughs> no. No. Okay, My master so. possession is all the way the hell over there. <laughs> but that also means he's not going to be able to deny my shenanigans. So yep, we'll take I that. won't be denying you. You won't be denying me. However, do I have 24 inches on my zoanthropes? Probably not, but no. Nope. Yeah, no. So that means you're not shooting either. Yay! My turn one's not gonna hurt so bad. However, are they within 18 of the hero duel? Yes, yes, they are. So they are going to place catalyst on the hero duel. It goes off on a Are you sure it's not like 30 inches from the target? Oh, it's 18 inches. Oh yeah, 30 inches is AOS. Holy crap! I'm now mixing AOS <laughs> with 4K. What is happening? Alright, so <laughs> Goes off on a six. Goes Yay. off. And I and did re get a hat. My hats. The infamous hat. Roar. That looks adorable. That <laughs> is awesome. I'll get a front view of it here in a second. Okay. Next off, the Broodlord is going to cast his fun stuff. He is going to do the special Leviathan one called Hive Nexus. It goes off on a six. Goes, goes off. off with a seven. Now, what happens? All my synapse ranges go up to 18. So basically the whole damn board's now synapse. My, all my guys yeah. are within synapse. Yeah. Which was necessary. Okay. Next up, we have the Swarm Lord with Onslaught. Oh, damn it. I forgot. He had Onslaught. I could have advanced the... Yep. You know what? He is going to onslaught the hero duel. Because shooting phase, move as though it was the movement phase, which means I can advance with it. Yep. 
So, onslaught, it goes off. Yay, you get another hat. The many hats of the hero duel. All right, and his next power is Psychic Scream. He's not within Range 18 of inches of anything. Fine. Shooting phase. Now comes the fun part. The Biovor with its 48 inch range gun. Yeah. He can shoot basically anything. anywhere he wants. All right. So what can he see? He is going to fire at that unpainted squad of uh, dudes there. No! So he gets how many shots? Do do do. Heavy one. <laughs> so can he hit five up? Okay, he hits. He hits. <laughs> All right. So each time the spore line launcher hits a target, roll a d6 to find out how much damage it inflicted. On a one, nothing. On a two through five, one mortal wound. On a six, d3 okay. mortal wounds. We're going to call that cocked. Yep. I wish that had rolled backwards. No. So one mortal wound onto your chaos space marine squad. And this guy displeased me the most today, so he's dead. <laughs> okay, next up. My... He's greasing the corn skull gears. Mm-hmm. So there's his range. He is... Yeah, we'll say you can get like a tip of this okay, guy right so here. Okay, so he's going to attempt his venom cannon. Okay, so it's the minus one to hit, but you've got to Three six. shots. Oh, okay. So minus one to hit, they have monstrous acid maws, so they don't get their plus one, so it's now on fives. Yep. One hit. There you go. Strength nine, I believe, on the heavy venom cannon. Yep. Which is funny. Heavy venom cannon, it's an assault weapon. Yep, strength nine, so wounding on a two. Yep. It wounds AP two. So it turns down to AP one because of cover. Yep. So that turns it to four up. And we're good. Yeah, he's, he's, of course he is. Yeah. Okay. Nothing's within range of my bioacid spray. However, I have a crap ton of uh, command points. Oh, yeah. I start with 11. Jesus. So I have 12. I'm going to drop two to let my biovore fire again. Okay. He's going to fire at the same squad. Miss. No. No, nope, You rolled hits. another six. He hits. He hits again. Okay. How many wounds? One wound. All right. Another one just. Oh, have Chaos Space Marines gone up to the two wounds yet? I don't think they have because they haven't had a update. FAQ. Yeah, we're still going to call them one wounds until we hear otherwise. So uh, this it's, guy. It's why they are in such a bad spot right now. Because everything now is two wounds and not them. Because okay. the plague, the plague marines got upgraded. Yeah, plague marines did, but plague marines didn't cover all marines. But it's funny, chaos space marines have gotten every other update that yeah. space marines have, yeah. except for primaries. <laughs> no, but like the hateful volleys. Yeah, the, yeah. If you're charged, you get to add to your attacks. Yep. All of that other stuff. Okay. End of shooting phase. The swarm lord shall declare him to move again this time however he is advancing because he has onslaught hey i can live with a 17 inch movement don't blame me okay so he's going to chug along to there that is disgusting <laughs> yeah that turn is... one <laughs> from that side of the table to this side of the however, table however he will not have oh he is still in synapse because he is still 18 inches away. <laughs> so he can still do stuff, but once he charges, he's in instinctive behavior. Ew. But yeah, he's going to try slamming into the Lord of Skulls, the whole reason why he was brought here. So just the Lord of Skulls? Oh, man. Because if you what? do just the Lord of Skulls, you're going to have to come all the way over here. I'm going to have to hit him right there. Yeah. Which will put me at a. 
Oh. An actual fellable charge. I have like an eight inch charge range to him. You know what? Yeah, Lord of Skulls. I'm gonna. Okay. We will do. I gotta see how many CP I actually have. I believe you have seven. Yeah, I knew I took a lot from all the stuff I added on. Let's take a look. Yep, seven CP. Okay. So, yeah, we will obviously be uh, dropping the Overwatch down. Okay. So, D6 shots with the Skull Cannon. Or the skull grinder. And... All right. So the Gore Storm cannon automatically hits this, its target. Yep. It's a flamer. It's a D6, I believe. Yep. Or is it two D6? It is a D6, but I want to see if I have a stratagem, thanks to Bile and his greatness, that, that, it, that would be it just does the automatic highest. Does he? No. He doesn't have... Well, wait, there's another page. <laughs> yeah, automatic. Nope. Okay, so we're going to see how many shots we get. <laughs> nice. I will take that. So six shots. They auto hit. They auto hit. So we are wounding. Here, hand me if you can. I'll just take six dice. I'm not going to be superstitious this game. <laughs> this game. This game. <laughs> Other games, I am massively superstitious. So the strength on the Gore Score Cannon is user, which strength because eight. we're creation of bile. Strength nine. No, 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 no. Strength 10 okay. plus 1 for creations of bile. So that's Toughness strength eight. 11. So, so we are wounding on threes. threes. Oh, three at okay. minus two. He has a three up save, I believe. Not as good as his brother, the barb. Yep, he has a three up save. So, so five ups. Three of them. Five ups. So that's and it's one two that damage saved. each. So okay. there's four wounds. Five ups. Three wounds. So three wounds. Okay. And with him being as beastly as it is, that's not bad. No. He no. has dermic symbiosis, so his wound counters are doubled. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Then we've got the scroll hurler. How many shots? Three shots. Okay. Hitting on sixes. Rerolling ones, because we are next to a demon prince. Thank God for that rerolling ones. So we do get one wound at strength nine versus toughness eight, so threes. That does wound, and then that bad boy has a minus three. All right, six up. Five up film or five up because of Dermic. So five up involved makes it. Yep. Okay. And then that is it for ranged weapons. Now for the all-important roll. Yeah, you need this roll. I need an eight. If you don't get this... Then I spend command points to try and get it. Uh, I know, but if you don't get this, he's going to get torn up. Okay. Okay. Well, there's a command point getting dropped. So I'm down to nine. And I am making it just barely. Just with barely. Eight. So... His eight-inch charge will leave him a half inch away because giant ass model. Yep. All right. That's huge. That is huge. Okay. Now he comes in with six attacks. Yep. Rerolling ones. Okay. Uh, hitting on threes. Everything <laughs> hits. Everything hits. Nice. He is a. He is hitting at strength user plus two. So this is strength. Let's see. Yep. Plus two. So strength 10 versus toughness. Threes because toughness eight. Yep. Oh. So. Oh, I already spent the. You did. Command point. This AP. is AP minus three. Okay. So we've got our five up invuln save. 
You get one of them. Okay. This is D3 plus three. Wow. Let me see if he's got any other shenanigans. <laughs> no, he's... All right. Yep. Here comes the damage. That's six, five, so there's 11, plus four. So 15 wounds? 15 wounds for All his... All right. That hurts him big time. And these are why the side tier duels are so dangerous. Yeah. It's a d20. So they have 28 wounds, so that drops him down to 13. Did I bracket him? You did, but you didn't want to. No, because his tough or his attacks go up, don't mm -hmm. they? Yep, because he wants to be in the combat. Yeah, he's a corn lord of skulls. So, yep. oh, you just barely bracketed him <laughs> on thirteen <laughs> wounds. Okay, so after consulting everything, we are going to be doing. Um. Yeah, we're going to do the smash as much as I'd love to do the cleave just for the extra attack. So, we got six attacks. Lord of Skull going in for smash with that big-ass cleaver. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Oh, thank God for that, too. Okay, so that is five attacks. Strength, because of the plus one to strength, thanks to Bile, is 18. So, wounding on twos. Uh, if it's strength 18... Yeah, wounding on two. Yeah, because it'd be 16 to wound on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I just had to remember uh, We numbers. will definitely spend a command point. Yeah, to get as much as you can. Because we need as much as we can done. So that is four at negative four. Okay. Five ups. Because of dermic symbiosis. So... Three are going through. At six damage each, so that is 18 damage. So, the first six. Five up, fill no pain. Wow. Okay, so there is, so far, two damage. The second six. There is an extra four damage. The final six. There is an extra three You actually damage. roll pretty damn good on all of that. Yep. And this is why I catalyst and onslaughted that <laughs> son of a bitch. No, that was big. And now, spending the three call CP. this the end of yep. the fight phase, I'm going to spend the last... I'm down to six command points. Okay, so, spending your two CP... Three CP. Three CP. To have him fight again, because of Dermic Symbiosis, he is double for his bracketing. So he's still he probably mid-bracket. Oh, bracket. top bracket. Nice. So, hitting on twos, re-rolling one, or hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Where are you re-rolling ones from? Scything Talons. Ah, uh, yeah. So, missed one. Missed one. I kind of wish he had murderous size over the Dermic Symbiosis because these would all be uh, strength yeah. 11, but yep. honestly, strength 10 is going to no, fight good. through everything. So, wounding on two or on threes because strength 10. So, that is four five ups for you, sir. Four five ups. And again, we only get one. All right. So three. Three, D3 plus three. So you already do nine, so you just got to do four. Yep. And that three, does it. Three, four, five, six. So 15. Does my Lord of Skulls blow does up? Does explode and eat so much of your army dude if he blows up it's gg i mean just straight up <laughs> yeah no it's it's straight up so what does he explode on uh on a six it explodes okay yeah he's yeah no we're good okay all right so that was fun 
it's always nice to have, you know, a huge centerpiece model die first turn. He died by a huge centerpiece model. Yeah, and that huge centerpiece model is going to die on my turn, so. Yeah. <laughs> now, he's... Mm. If you consolidate in, I get to attack. Yeah, but it also means he can't be shot at next Dude, time. I'm going to pull back. You can't possibly stop these guys from shooting. <sighs> and they're going to get buffed here. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, while you took out my Lord of Skulls, he's dead. you're going to yeah. die for it, too. You know what? He's good sitting there. Yeah. He's extremely good sitting there, because if he does survive this, he's got a 3D6 flamethrower sitting on top there of him. There you go. All <laughs> right, so are we looking at turn one Chaos Space Marines? Yep, turn one Chaos Space Marines. So, out of your secondary objectives... I have received first strike. But that's if pending... You... If you kill one of my units, which you will, could, I will only receive two instead of five. Gotcha. And then if I kill more than your units, does that Doesn't change? Matter. Okay. I killed first turn. So we'll see how that goes. So I will, I will get my first strike You points. didn't do deploy scramblers, and you didn't kill a character. I did not do this. I have these. You do. <laughs> they did something. They, yeah. they had to do something. So. All right. So we'll set up for Chaos Space Marine turn one. Here we go. Can you have Here is Chaos hogging all of them? turn. Oh, my. Yours. <laughs> That's what I get for not being superstitious about dice. My Lord of Skull's dead. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, I, I kind of wish I had taken engaged on all fronts because... You I made it. Three right here. Okay. All right, so these guys are going to run. Yeah. Nice. Where are they running to? So, Chaos Space Marines move six, and now they're moving 12. Well, you know where they're running to. They're going for this objective over here. <laughs> they're running away. So, advancing and running. Boom. Just move everybody in formation. As much as possible. Oh, god damn, dude! That it, it's it's part of why I brought them. I wanted no, to see we what happens. To see the duel and the fact that they both got to smash each other. That's yeah. Great. Um, are these guys going to move out of cover? You know what? They're not. They're happy here for the moment because I want to see what this brood does. Yep. All right, so then moving all the way over here to these guys. These Chaos Space Marines are going to chill. Is the Demon Prince going to want to try and get a piece of the action? No, I'm going to see what I can do just killing him with the Obliterators. All right. Since you actually gave my Obliterators a target, they can shoot first turn. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was fun. Yep, but the Obliterators are going to start ponderously moving four inches forward. Thankfully, they have heavy weapons. No, assault. Or, that's what I bet, assault yeah, weapons. Yeah, so I could run them, but I don't want to deal with the minus one. Yeah. Um, the Demon Prince is just going to chill with them. He obviously could move that. These guys are going to come up here. Because we're counting that this dude will be dead come... We're hoping. Yeah. So, not much of a movement on my side. Um, yeah, that's it. So... Psychic phase. I don't have to heal, which I was planning on doing. So there's that. Oh, okay. At the end of my movement phase, we're going to buff these Space Marines, try and get their toughness up, we hope. With the five, I can either do toughness or attack because I've got the Surgeon. We're going to go for toughness. So these guys are now plus one toughness. All right. So, I tell you what, I have my own version of hats. Crates! We're Metal Gear soliding it. <laughs> He's hiding in a cardboard box. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so... Uh, Master Possession, we are going to do Cursed Earth. That's the other thing that I'm really upset that I didn't get top of turn. Because that would have turned that to a 4-up end roll. Yeah, that, that would have been pretty gross, not going to lie. Alright, so Cursed Earth goes off on a 7... We do get it with a nine. And I am out of range to so, be saying no. Everything within six inches of him 
If it's demonic, now has a plus one on their so, inborn save. So Blitz, Demon Prince, and Greater Possessed yep. all have a plus one invuln. Yep. And then we are going to, since I don't have to heal, we're going to smite. Poor buddy. And it goes off. All right. Dealing D3. Uh, yep. One. One damage. All right. Five up, feel no pain. No. Oh. I could command point it. For one point, it's not no, worth it. No, it's not worth it. Save your, because you're going to need it for when the obliterator starts. Yeah, for when uh, he gets turned into a clear paste. All right, so shooting phase. We'll start here and then make our way around the table. I don't think I'm really within range of anything else, so. Plus, are, do you really want to shoot anything else right no, now? <laughs> no, I am so pissed off at that. <laughs> Damn you, sir. Damn you. All right, so we are going to do a crack grenade from the aspiring champion because all he's got is a bolt pistol. No, nothing. Why not? The heavy bolter. Three shots. Please tell me I'm at least within range. Okay, good. <laughs> You're still within range to reroll your one. Hey, hey, look, you hit. Wounding on a five. No, nothing. Then we have one, two, three, four, five other Astartes. All within rapid fire range. So first wave. Wow. Wounding on fives. Wow, one wounded. All right. Second wave. Be rolling There's two more ones. <laughs> the head counter. <laughs> and wow, of course, nothing. another so just one. The one. So, no AP, correct? Because these are just bolters. No, they're just the old school bolters. All right. Three up armor safe. <laughs> oh, call that cut. Oh. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> All right. Five up, feel no pain. Come on, cat. No. Nope. So, I believe this has bracketed. Okay. For the obliterators. No, it hasn't. He has to have four to be bracketed. Yep. So, why did I... Okay, whatever. So, that's a unit. That's a unit just for future reference. Well, they're still... No, yeah. they're not. They yeah, moved so, outside of... Dink, dink. All right. So, these two, their strength is eight. Their AP is minus two. Their damage ah, is two. All right. So, 12 shots. Basically, everything was a two up. Yeah. So, we'll just do this in two waves real quick. So, first ones. And obliterators, I think, are hitting on twos. No, threes. All right. But we do get to reroll ones. It so, actually helped. Wounding on fours. We got three wounds at minus two. All right, so five up either way. Wow. One goes through for two damage. Two damage, so five up, feel no pains. One so damage. So a damage. He's now bracketed. All right. <laughs> Second wave. Hitting on threes. Three rolling these ones. Really? We're just going to go with the law of averages here? Yep. Fours. Nothing. No. Okay. All right. Well, it's... Second squad of obliterators. Second squad. It's left to you. So, strength. <laughs> Nine. Yay. AP. Two. Damage. Three. Yes. That is very nice. So, the uh, nine damage. The really, nine strength. Really helps. Oh, wait. Assault 6 plus D3. I was going to say, wait, I'm plus 1. No. All right. Well, everything <laughs> Nice. Wounding on 3s. 4 wounds at minus 2. All right. 4 5 ups. So, and then it's 3 wounds each, so you are looking at 9 5 ups. Yep. Oh. Making me pull out the entire box, basically. Yep. All right, 
Five up, feel no pain. Yeah, he, he died. Yeah, he did. He he definitely did. Okay. Yeah, he he's definitely dead. De yep. Definitely, definitely dead. Now, his death throws. He's not within combat of anybody. Or, this is him exploding. Oh. They explode! I know, <laughs> They're but, called death throws. <laughs> I know, but with death throws, you can only... Is it melee or one? Nope, it's uh, everything within three inches suffers three mortal wounds. Okay, so those guys. So, yeah. Uh, they suffer three mortal wounds. Let's see. On a six. No. No. So, no mortal wounds. So... Pop goes to hear it all. Hey, big guy kills big guy. I'll take that <laughs> back. Big guy got rid of his biggest threat. Yep. And then we return the favor and it turns back into an all-out infantry battle. With me severely out of position. Because that I will give to... you your largest amount for bring it down. Yep. Okay, so for bring it down... So we get X points for thin the ranks because that was an over 10. Yep, that was definitely an over 10. And then bring it down, I think we get three or five. Uh, that's, that's one we gotta look up. I'm not 100% sure on. Deploy scrounge there is no, bring it down. Uh, it's not in. It's in the core. Oh, there it is. Uh, two victory points at the end of battle for each monster vehicle. With wound characteristics of 10 or 3 if it's more than 10. All right, so you got 3 for just killing that hero all by himself. Yep. And then... My first strike. Oh, I didn't do the psychic ritual, so I get nothing there. Yeah, because yeah. you decided to cursed earth it. Well, no, I smited. And smite. Yep. Uh, psychic actions count as actions for psychic phase only. Oh, nice. Yeah, so when you choose to do a psychic action, that's the only psychic that psyker's doing. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I, I was rereading up on him. Like, and I'm probably screwed on that one, but that's fine. Okay, so. So, the battle as towards what it's looking like going into turn two. Mm -hmm. Not much has changed on the Chaos Space Marine. This is where things get disgusting. Yep. So, beginning of command phase i gain a single command point yep well by End the way who's command. your warlord just so we have my warlord is the sworn lord gotcha because why wouldn't he be the warlord in a tyranid army yep i'm hoping they buff him up when they release a tyranid codex and turn him into a gilliman silent king stuff yeah he needs him to just be. being a better hive tyrant it's, yeah. it's not the sworn lord true that okay what do you do in turn two right well i gain I believe I hold that. I don't think you do. Sworn Lord because not it's for three. three. We shall check. No, that's... I do not. Yeah, I'm Just close. Outside of it, no, you are super I'm close. close. I tell you what, if you want to nudge it, because he would have. He would have. There you go. Done All right, that. now you've got two, so that will give you ten victory points. Uh, yeah. Because you've control got one, me. you got two, but you don't do control, control more, more than, than me. you because you also control two. Yep. Yeah, I ran those nice little Chaos Space Marines. Yep. Just so that they can get in there. All right, so. And what they should have done is shot with their bolters. Oh, no, rapid fire. So can't even do that. Okay, so. Swarming. And for once, I'm not playing Black Legion. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't even use the Black Legion turn rapid fire into. So Swarmy will actually be hauling butt over to here. Uh, Biovor. He's going to just up, up, run again. back up because because I want my minus one. Yeah, you do. <laughs> now, zoanthropes are going to be kind of silly. They're going to advance. The awesome one they moved. So they get to move six. Now he's going to move forward like that. He's going to move sideways like this to keep him within synapse, and then they'll just. Follow like that. Yep. Okay. Oh, now comes the uh, fun part. Gene Steeler Squad, advance. Yay. Oh, this is going to hurt. 14. Because 8 base with plus 6. 
Thank you very much. Look at much. how quickly they are approaching on these cast space rings. And I'm not even playing Kraken or Behemoth. No. If I wanted to really be gross. You could have been, yeah. I actually expected that. But no, instead I saw a fucking Titan cross the whole goddamn board. That's Swarm Lord for you. You want a slingshot, he's by far one of the best ones out there. All right. Get them done moving. Oh. Okay. There they go. Now, there is a stratagem, and I have to look it up because I don't remember it off the top of my head. Okay, it is. Fabius, what are you going to do about this, man? Come on. What you gonna do? <laughs> What's your strategy here? You're all the way the hell up front. You've lost to Lord Corner Skulls. The Chaos Gods are not gonna be happy about that. I, oh, there it is. No, that's Adrenaline Surge. Oh, it's the Kraken one, and I'm not Kraken, so never mind. <laughs> it's a good thing I made sure of that. Okay, these ones are going to advance. They're going only two more inches, so they're going ten. They're gonna come out here to be about right there. Which, honestly, does not bother me at all. Because, luckily, they're moving through this nice little ruins here. Mm -hmm. So, Which just got done being built today. What is it, that a cath? It's the Basilicum thing for the sisters. Basilica or St. Catherine yeah, or something whatever. like that. I am still half tempted to start using that as my Celestine model. <laughs> it's only slightly bigger on the base. <laughs> but, At least it would make it to where Celestine looks intimidating. Yeah, sadly, she underperforms a little too much. Actually, often. that last time. Yeah, she the last did. time she was disgusting. Yeah, but... she owned. That last time I was playing a very, yeah, very were... squishy list. Yep. Broodlord shall advance. Okay, I can live with that. Extra four inches on his uh, already nasty eight. So he's actually going to plop himself right here. Now, Carnifex, you're going to move seven. Carnifex, you're going to move seven. Okay. Ugh. End of phase, we are having our little buddies up here. He is going to appear here. All the way back there for a deep strike? Or, no, he's right there. Still for a deep strike. I have to get deploy scramblers. It has uh, to be done by an infantry non-character model. That's true. That's where there lifters come in. So, yep. right there, he's for sure in deployment. He is for sure holding that. Second one. Uh, he's gonna hide there <laughs> why not hey it gives his camo giving him plus one uh cover on yep. top of the plus one cover okay and these rippers are going to come over here and plop down to secure this so now offset. with what you were saying the Rippers, because they're Swarm... Because they are a Swarm and not an Infantry, they cannot help with deploying Scramblers. So that gotcha. one game... Oh, okay. It was where, deploying Scramblers where... When they were doing it, they weren't... But they still get the objective hold thing. Yep. Now, he's the big question on where he wants to go. And I do know where he wants to go. He wants to be a big, giant, filthy distraction about right here. You, yeah, you might have to do some adjustments to yeah, get well, it to where... For, yeah. for basic setup, let's see. So nine inches from him will be roughly right there, correct? Yeah. Nine inches from them it is a full roughly bubble. Roughly right there. So he does not have ability to go there. However... If he sits right yeah, right there, here, should be just he fine. should be good yep. on being outside of nine inches, and he's scary now. Yep. Okay. 
Now, move on to the glorious psychic face. Yep. Broodlord with his fancy little Renaissance barb, because I forgot to say who had relics and whatnot. So the You're camera. Good. He's got one. He's got one. Okay. Okay. So he's going to do the hive nexus. Because why not? Yep. Goes off on a six. It's so off. So it's good. So that means all synapse is increased to an 18 inch bubble. Yep. Now he is going to attempt to smite those little chaos space marines there and he can he is within 18 of them so he is going to smite bubble them oh yeah he does d3 four two, two. so we he... will take these two back because nope. they do actually we'll take these two because they displease me all right next up we have our Nice little group of zoanthropes. They are also going to smite with their 24 inch range. Yep. Smite. And closest is the uh, same little squad of Chaos Space Marines. So, going off on A6. Oh, yeah. It, it really does go off. So, 2D3 because there are more than two of them. So, five. Okay. Doink, there's two. I'm going to make three, sure, four. I'm pretty sure that's how it is, is it's an extra D3. Five. Because I want to not be super cheeseballing it. You cheeseball never. <laughs> I try not to. Uh, let's see, Zoanthropes, it suffers, nope, that's not it. Warp Blast. And a yeah, an additional D3 wounds if it contains five, four to five. If it contains max, which is six, then it's flat three. So, now hold on. You got three models there. Four. I thought that dude was a separate unit. You normally, No, he's, oh. he's I'm okay, not running you're, Neurothrope You normally today. roll on him as a separate. That's right, okay. Well, normally he gets ran with them. It's the dude with the pointed mm -hmm. head that is okay. the Neurothrope. So, we're down to one dude left there. Okay, well, that one dude left is going to have to deal with his psychic shenanigans of psychic hey, scream. They did their job. Going off on a five. Yeah, that goes off with a nine because there's a five under there. Now, let's see if, I because we have moved up a little bit closer. Yes. Let's see if we actually have file within range of 20. Nope. He no, is the outside possession. of it. Yep. So, no. 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 He screams psychically <laughs> at that last little Marine there, and that Marine decides Dies. to die. That's fine. Next, I don't think he's within 18 inches of them. Nope. He is not. So, he's done with his nice psychic shenanigans. Okay, shooting phase. Nope, psychic face still. Oh yeah, him. <laughs> this tyrant, however, is within range. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what this tyrant is uh rolling with, because I don't remember. The horror and catalyst. So he is going to perform catalyst on himself. Okay. So goes off on a six. Goes off. Do you want to deny no, it? You can have Catalyst. Okay, he has a five up hat. All right, next, he's going to drop the horror. Who are you dropping the horror? On this squad. This squad? Yep. Okay. It goes off. I was hoping you'd roll lower on that second roll. Okay, <laughs> gotta try and deny just because, yeah. No. Uh oh. They're minus one to hit. Minus one to hit, minus one leadership. Not that it matters to yeah, a player. Exactly. But. Yep. Okay. Now we're on the shooting phase. Okay. What are we shooting with first? Bio 4 <laughs> is going to attempt to fire at this Chaos Squad. This little one? Yep. Okay. All right. <laughs> what the hell? My Bio 4 can hit 
everybody. So, nope, nothing happens. That's awesome. That, that, I will take that. That is hilarious. Now, <laughs> I will take that. Venom Cannon Carnifex. Because <laughs> I have not very much shooting. How many shots with his Venom Cannon? He gets a shot with his Venom Cannon. Hitting on fives because they are hidden. Yep. No. Nothing. I don't think my Death Spitters are within range, but no. let's hope 24. No. Nope, still not. Okay. We're going to spend two command uh, you points. Know what? I'm a complete idiot. I didn't even shoot at all with these guys last <laughs> turn. The auto cannon, the plasma gun, yep. nothing. I was so focused on taking my revenge. Thank God. Yep. Okay. So, Biovore is going to fire again at those same Okay. Dudes. He misses. Yay. Now I get to do stuff. So, this little spore mine goes within six inches of these guys. So... There's a spore mine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Charge phase. The only one who was within range to charge anything is this flying I've tyrant. To add in a point on my command phase. And he is within. Like an 11 inch range. Uh, yeah, 11 inches. Because you also have to count down in 40k. Not with flyers. Oh, yeah, that's right. He is flying. Those big wings do mean okay. something. Okay, are you wanting to charge the obliterators? Oh, it will cost you command point to try an overwatch. But if they score hits... If they score hits, he's going to hurt. But he will then be within range to... Okay, so are you officially guys. declaring charge? Uh, wait. End of shooting phase. Aha. Now you gotta you got to count the diagonal. No, it's his bubble. Oh, yeah. His bubble. He is within six inches of him. He needs to only be 18. He will move as yeah. if it was the movement phase. Because he's got a 15-inch movement. Yeah. So he's going to plop himself right there. And then definitely declare charge. Now he's going to multi-charge these two squads of obliterators. Okay. Are you going to overwatch oh, yeah. with one of you your have obliterators? To. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> All right, so the Obliterator Overwatch strength <laughs> six. Well, no, strength seven. One AP. <laughs> wow. This is not two damage. Okay, why not? <laughs> it's a little bit better. So, first wave. On Looking for those sixes, sixes. re rolling ones. So far, two. Three. Three. Shots going I will through. take that at strength seven. So. Strength seven, toughness seven. So four fours. ups. Two four ups at minus one. So two four up in bones. So he takes one damage. It's two no, damage. Oh, five up. Yep, five up. Feel no pain for two. Nope. Nope. So. All right. Let's take a two damage. Second wave. We have one, one, one roll. All right, so one went through. Wounding on a four. No. Nope. Okay. All so right. So he's taking two damage. I'll take that for an Overwatch. Two damage. All right. Charge roll. <laughs> oh my God! I don't think. I mean, he only needs a half inch, and he is yeah, within two but inches. Still, that is the first the snake eyes. The fact that I rolled the double ones. Dang. Thank God we're not playing AOS because that is a fail. Yes, forty it k. Is. It is not a fail. All right, put him in. Oh Jesus! Well, we're going to turn around for ultimate effect of this battle, and we're calling that in. Okay. That being said, now I got to check my shenanigans. Because my guy also has fly. And that will put him within half an inch, so we heroically intervene. Okay. You want your demon prince to get smacked by my hive tire. With all the upgrades he has on him, he better survive. He's got... So, what he has on him is murderous size. Oh, 
He had plus one to his charge. Oh, nice. Because he has the... Uh, oh, wait. The adrenal Crap. glands. Hold on. That might be a bad idea. Before we start rolling dice. Okay, good. Whew. Oh, you're greater possessed. No, the uh, bubble for the plus one invul. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. That would be bad. So we're still in. We're still good. Whew. Okay. Four attacks. Strength is plus one. So strength seven. Hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. Okay, so who are you hitting at? The Demon Prince? I'm still trying to figure this out. He has dual scything talents, so there's five attacks. How many how many how many wounds does the Demon Prince have? Demon Prince has eight wounds. Okay. So that would mean two attacks would have to go through on the Demon Prince. Yep. To kill him. We are going to put We're gonna put four attacks onto the Demon Prince and, and one attack the onto the uh obliterators with the horde. Okay. So the two and then his pincer tail will also go on the obliterator. All right. Uh, let me see what... So first, we're going to spend some CP mm -hmm. with good old Fabius Bile because of our legion. So we're going to put down Monstrous Visage. What's that do? Makes him minus one to hit. And then we are also going to put down... Is he an infantry? Yes. Demon Princes are infantry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Demon Prince. Um, Astar Heretic Astartes Infantry. Oh, that's Fabius Bile. Sorry. Demon Prince. God damn it. No, he's a, he's monster. a monster. That's right. Yeah, I was so. thinking. He's a Demon Prince. I'm pretty sure he's a monster. You should still get that... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's infantry, 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 infantry. All right, moving on. So, yeah, hit. <laughs> All right, hitting on twos. Okay. Okay. Strength seven. Toughness six. All right, wounding on threes. Um, Before I roll for my wounds, I am going to do something. Uh, it is not you. Where is it? Voracious Appetite. For one CP, I will re-roll all failed wound rolls okay. on that monster. So you're now down to like, what, four? Yes, I am down to four. But this okay. is to kill your demon prince. Hopefully kill so, wounding on threes, re-rolling everything. Oh, it's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, there you so go. everything will wound. This is AP four. So, four four-ups. Mm -hmm. Five up and vulnerable, plus our bubble. Four four-ups. Wow, <laughs> really? <laughs> the end roll happens. Are you serious? Did I just overkill your dude? You might have, but first we are going to spend a CP. He's still dead. I've still got a six up. Feel no pain. Oh, okay. All right. So, yep, okay. we do so save this one. Is 12 damage that is going through. <sighs> are you sure you wanted to spend that command point to try and get 12 okay. sixes? So, I need to get five of these 12 sixes. So far. That was not a six. So we've got two. I need three more, and that will leave him with one wound. Two more. Oh! And uh, feel no pain are not able to be command rerolled, and you already spent your command. Yeah, re I did. So, goodbye, Demon Prince. <laughs> are you, you serious? <laughs> you died again! <laughs> I gave you like two relics in every buff I could. <laughs> Here's the thing. He has murderous size, so he is a buffed up hive tire. No, but for a four know, up I rolling know. all of them, like, jeez. I made him a disgusting little sniper rifle. 
No, it, it's just more of my God, that demon prince. That demon prince can't. It's like your chaos predator. Dude, it cannot it, it do won't, anything. It cannot survive past turn two. It just won't. <laughs> All right, do the two into All my right. obliterators. Obliterator hits. He gets to re-roll because. Hey, wounds, AP four. So four up. There's of course. Five. There it is. Yep, yep. The obliterator. Okay, and his little pincer tail doesn't hit. Nothing. Okay. So, pile in and swing back, my friend. This is so much BS. <laughs> oh. All right. Flush metal guns. That's just, wow. I mean, <laughs> I'm almost tempted to rage quit right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I had to do it. No, it was. It's good tactics for you. It's just uh, that I, I don't know what it is I about that model. To turn one, kill both of them, and I did it. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is about that demon prince. He just cannot survive. I think you need to change him from being a corn demon prince to something else. Dude, I do. He needs to make him be a Nurgle demon prince and I give think, him disgusting results. Yeah, I think I'm gonna repaint him green, <laughs> just green. The hey, give you a demon prince for your death guard. Yeah, there we go. All right, crushing fists. So we get three attacks each. So the first group, they are minus one. Yep, they are minus one. But we are looking at plus two strength because good old Fabius. Yep. So fours. No re-rolling. Nope, I don't get to re-roll anymore. I cannot believe that. That's just wow. <sighs> that it was. Terrible for me to have done it to you. So but strength seven. So running on seven. fours. Both wound. AP at minus one. Okay, so four up. So D3 one. D three damage. Ooh. One damage. Okay, five up. No, no. So. <laughs> oh. Thank God for spin dice. Yep. All right, second wave of guys. These are hitting on threes. Yep. Wow. So three hits. This is just another one of those days. Four is the wound. All, all four three wound. wounds. Yeah, all so. three wound. Wait. Okay. It's charge phase when they blow up. Okay, so. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hateful. Hateful Assault, they get two more attacks. Awesome. Each. Because they so, were charged. Yep, so did that go through? Uh, these, I now have to... Okay. Yeah, those, those two go through, so roll for damage. Oh. So, six damage. Two, six five-ups. If Keith can do it, so can I. Yes, you can. I mean, you've been doing great I've been on doing your... amazing. Yeah. So, there's four damage. Okay. Bring him down to five wide. So the two from the first group for the hateful assault. Yep. Hitting on four. fours. Nope. Doesn't matter. Second group. Hitting on threes. They both, both hit. hit. Wounding on fours. They, they both, both wound. wound. Four up. Of course. Doesn't matter. Because we did it after the fact. Yep. All right. Is there anything else? Um. <laughs> I don't think so, and sadly, I can't let him fight again, because he's... Wait. Wait. Can I? Where are you? I think I'm going to have him fight again if he can. Might as Adrenaline well. Adrenaline Surge Select Tyranid Unit. Yep, so it's another an immediate three... Thing. Another three CP down the drain? It's another three CP down the thing. We're going to say this happened bins now because I forgot it's supposed to be immediate. Well, you're doing it immediately. Yeah. Well, I'm supposed to do it before mm. you fight back. So, he would have hit, killed Demon Prince, hit again, not been wounded, but that's what happens when uh, you forget stuff. May the Nuffle gods treat you as well as they treat me when it comes to doing more rolls. Yeah. Okay. He is now bracketed. Yes. So, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, uh, three into the non-horde. 
and two into the horde, and then the tail will be into the horde. Okay. So, into the non-horde. Hitting on threes. Rerolling ones. No. Yep. I believe he's still rerolling wounds. Yeah. So, hitting on threes. Both hit. Strength seven, so wounding on threes, rerolling. Doesn't need to. So, minus four on them. So, four ups. And there's two of them? Yep. Two four ups. One goes through. One dies, basically, because it's a flat four. It's a flat four? Yep. Ouch. Yep. All right. Okay. Now, the tail hitting on a three. Hits. Strength six for the tail. I believe they're a toughness five. five. So, wounding on a three. Nope. Rerolling? I'm going to make sure he still has the rerolling, because... It should be through the end of the turn. If it is, that's going to be awesome. Let us double check on everything. It is the... Not single-minded. Where is it? Not the voracious appetite. Until end of the phase. So yes, re-rolling. Okay, so it goes through. This has... It goes through. It goes through. So I believe it's D3 damage for his pincer tail. Of course I closed off all my things. Of course you did. And of course there's ads, because it's... Free. It, yeah, it's free. <laughs> You can't really complain about free. I honestly pay the five bucks a year or whatever else it is to give me my PC and my phone. I do that for my D&D uh, &D one. Yeah. All right. So, pincer tail, D3 damage. So, the obliterators have four wounds, so that is one wound left. Holy crap. Now, what is their leadership? I know they can't run because... Leadership 8. So, leadership 7, 6. So, on a 6. But it has to be less than that. So, no. He yep, would not run. Exactly. Yeah, good thing, you know. All right. So, at the end of your turn, what do you get point-wise? End of my turn, I get nothing. Because they just came in, meaning they can't perform actions. Unless so they can. Got 10 for primary. No, they wouldn't. Can't be. do deploy scramblers. Next turn, they shall be deployed. You did get assassinate. I did get assassinate. I did kill so your did demon turn. Three or. It's three for each character I kill. Alright. So. Yep. And then zero for first strike. Yep. Well, no. First strike, not this turn. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Alright. Oh. Okay, start of Chaos Space Marine turn two. We only get five victory points because he killed my ten guys over here. But it is not looking good for Chaos. We got crap all over the place. Fabius Bile with his two greater possessed are about to get eaten by these 60 dudes running down here. It's only 36. <laughs> Looks like 60, goddammit. Alright, so command phase, that was fun. Um, movement phase. Well, we got to deal with this situation, and unfortunately, these guys can only move four inches. I'll turn the camera back over here to Chris. Oh, yeah, I only have one. I don't remember what the fallback stratagem is for me to do mortal wounds to you. Uh, I think it is one, but... It's also like only on a six or something like that. Let's look it up because yeah. it might be worthwhile to try and take out that obliterator with one wound. Let's see if it's actually in here for the general stratagems. I don't know. I'll to undo that. So we'll move the dead. <laughs> uh, actions. It should stratagems. be. Cut them down. One CP, roll D6, and that unit suffers one mortal wound. So just the unit. So you'd only do one mortal wound if you get it. Mm. So don't know if you still want to do it. Uh, it's hard to decide because he only has one, one wound. wound. And 
him falling back. You know what? I'm going to let you have it for other purposes. Yeah, I figured you probably want to save that. So this dude is going to say, screw my hat. I'm running over here. Buddies, don't leave me. And then these guys are... <laughs> he still has a hat, though. Yes, he does. <laughs> and then my master possession is going to advance because there's no need not to. You're not going to put him into the fight. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> so he normally moves six. This will put him at 11. Basically, I just want him between the obliterators. All right, they're fine. They're not moving. They're not moving. At the end of the movement, Fabio Spile is going to put try and put toughness on one of those greater possessed. He can't. It's a one. So it has to be either strength or... Where are you, Fabius? Oh, no. Two. Yeah. So it's on a three. No, either which way I can do toughness. So this guy now has toughness. All right. Doink. Um... So yeah, that was the incredibly awesome movement phase. Um, Having just the two phase. squads left, oh, this is going to be a tough uphill road okay. for you. We are going to try and do the ritual. Okay. So that goes off. Now, a, here's the thing. I know, it's going to take up this whole thing. But mm. at this point... Do you want your greater possessed to have the cracked earth? He is casting on a minus one. Because yeah. he is in synapse. I know, but I need the victory points. If you I'm going to try and survive, you do. I've got to get the victory points. So, it, and I've got to do this three times, and I doubt my guy's going to survive that long. So, Warp Charger 3. Gets it with a 7. You going to try to deny? Um, no. Since he's there, and it's the only thing you can do... We're going to attempt to, not with a four. No, not with a four. Okay, so he's busy doing that instead of doing any of the other shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Shoosting phase. Okay. Well, we've got five, one, two, three, four, five, six guys with bolters that are going to try and mess this dude up. Okay. Hitting on threes. No re-rolls because my demon prince is gone. Yep. Wounding on fives, and they continue to prove useless. We're going to throw a crack grenade from the leader. That does hit. It hits. And then crack grenade. Strength eight, I believe. Six. Okay, so wounding on a five, five still. Oh, I saw that five. Yep. All right, then the heavy bolter. <sighs> wow. Oh. Okay. Now I just remembered you are within rapid fire range. So yep. So the bolters. second wave from the bolters. There we go. Okay. Looking for your fives. So three at no minus. Three three ups. Oh. Why not? Oh, we do get a wound in. Okay. Oh no, five up. Yep. Five up. Feel no pain. I uh, it was so close to rolling Ooh. over. So now yeah, we have a uh, four wound hive tyrant who's probably dead. Yeah. Let's Hopefully. come over here to. Okay, so we have three guys with bolt guns hitting on threes, wounding on fours. Got one wound into the gene stealers. Into the massive mob of gene stealers. All right. Five up. <laughs> of course you would. You would. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. It's all good. Today's just not my day. Okay, all plasma right, auto guns. Cannon. Oh, auto cannon. One hit. No uh, wound. Yeah, no, because it's not strength eight. Wow. Okay, plasma gun. No overcharge, obviously. Are you gonna are you gonna super shot it? Uh, good thing I didn't overcharge. Yep. All right. Bile, you have anything? Let's hope Bile's not re-rolling or 18 is. Inch pistol. I 
don't know if you got oh, this. Oh, just AT. barely. He does? All right. On that front dude. Start shooting him. So, the Silos Needler. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with the. Two. I'm going to noob, noob gun you. Oh, my God. One. So, wounding on a two always does wound at minus two. Minus two. So, five up in Vaughn. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Wow. My saves are on fire. <laughs> I mean, it's only fair from a couple games ago where I just wouldn't die. Yeah, yeah. All right, so charging. Need of one. Yeah, they're 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 most definitely in. <laughs> Both of them charge separately, but we uh, don't yeah, really care. So here, there we <laughs> <you> go. <laughs> in fact, actually, there's enough on this that they're gonna charge this way. <laughs> they're gonna fall away from the uh, point of. Popularity. Yeah. All right. So, greater possessed. They do get to add one to their attacks because of their Astartes. Yep. So they normally have five attacks. They're going to get six attacks. They're plus one in strength. Six attacks because of Fabius Bile. And then they're buffing each other on strength. So this will be strength seven. Six attacks. Six attacks, strength seven. For each one. Yep, this is going to hurt. So, hitting on twos. I'll hit. Wounding on fours. Strength six. Seven. No, strength seven. Okay, strength seven. Okay. Wounding on fours. So, that is four at minus two. All right. Four, four ups. So, two. Three damage each. Okay. And that's four. All right. Four or five ups. <laughs> Down to one. Two. Oh, four, five ups. Yeah, that was one six. The six and a five. Oh, okay. All right, second dude. <laughs> oh, no, technically that's a unit, so you can now attack. I don't have... Uh... Any, oh, all charging went first. I'm thinking AOS. <laughs> wow. You're thinking AOS in your uh, damn banshees. Yep. So that's three at minus two. All right. Three four ups. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's Six super damage. dead. Six damage. So, I mean, I no mean, reason not the, to the try. Way you've been rolling? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so close. Yep, so he's dead. Now, let's see what death throws the uh, actual yep. thing does. Because if I can death throws, it's probably not one command point. If it is, that's disgusting. Yeah. Where they get to fight as though it was the uh, fight phase in death. Okay, where is it? Do, 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 so and so. Death Frenzy is two. Ah, oh, so. Does he explode? No. He does not explode. Take that. And then this dude will just. Yeah. There you go. Alright. That is. And the... then I get three points. For killing another character or monster more than 10 wounds. Yep. So. Yeah, this is going to suck. And then I get another 10 points for that. Because that was a model more than 10 wounds. Yep. So. So even if we were to calculate that out, I am two victory points behind and I'm now about to become even more behind because you have more objectives than me. Yeah, this is a... Uh... All right, so the end of turn two, Chaos is severely outnumbered and outrun. Hmm. <laughs> this is uh, going to be fun. And Tyranid, start of turn three. All right, so I am you back get... up to 
two command points. You now are at 15 for primary. Yep, extra 10 because of that. No, you're at full 15. Because you get five. Oh, I control more than you. Yep. Yeah, no, that was big. Knocking that group okay. out was huge. And the fact that I decided not to try and run those guys in there. Yeah, okay. So. Because I know I'd get stopped right there in the middle of the road. <laughs> First move of this game for this turn. <laughs> he is moving three inches. Yep. That's all he needs to do. He is now exploding on charge phase. Yep. Swarm war. That's why I got those guys the fuck out of town. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a smart idea. Case. Do you want to move Swarmy because he's holding that objective for me? No, you. Rippers are holding the objective oh, that's right. for me. You got Rippers now. Swarmy. Let's see those Rippers. Yeah, there's a yeah. few Rippers there. Swarmy is actually going to. Uh, oh, this is. This puts him in a difficult spot because he can't technically run through there so because he's he is a around. monster. So he's going to basically run to the other side of it. That's from running underneath stuff. Yep. To there. Okay. Well, that ends the horror here. Yep. Biovore is going to jump down. Okay. Zone Thropes are going to do a little advance of five. So they get to actually move ten. That's not a bad thing for me no, to have no. happen. So, once I get them to move, keep the Biovore still in Synapse. All right, now we come over to the real fun spot. <laughs> yeah, the spot I've been dreading all day. <laughs> okay, so, old school Tyranid Gene Stealers are moving an extra two. So, they're going to be moving up ten. And, you know, say hello. Because. Yeah. Yeah, they can advance and charge. You gotta love them. The nice thing is, is with me clustered like this, it's going to limit just the number of guys you can attack with. Oh, if I try charging off three of these. Yeah, no, if you get into that full, let's go crazy. Yeah, sure, you'll get everything in, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't need this squad to survive, you know. This is just uh Yeah, at this point, unless I can push you off an objective, this is going to be. Yeah. We're now playing for S and G. <laughs> I still have some hope. With those three obliterators, I think mm -hmm. I can still do something. Okay, this squad is going to advance. Okay. They are moving 13. They are actually going to come and take this objective right here. This is mine. Of course they are. You cannot have this, for I have it. Jesus. Oh, All right, let's get... Guys moving. Thank God for rooms being able to pass through them. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta love moving hordes. Yep. Okay, cool. Now, Broodlord. <laughs> you don't even need that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 14 inches. He's going to plop himself nice and right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Finally, we're going to move the beetle into position to fire and move this hive or the venom cannon into better position. Okay. Lictor is performing deploy scramblers. Okay. Lictor is the Deploying scramblers. I thought you can only do it once per turn. Once per character. Oh. So if you can get a guy in each section in one turn, deploy scramblers. Gotcha. Which they advanced though. So I don't think you can advance and do an action, so no, I won't can't. be getting the three. <laughs> nope. That'd be disgusting. That would be disgusting. Okay, so I'm getting the two. They're going to be doing their scrambler deploying. 
Uh, psychic shenanigans time. Okay. You know what? I don't care about Brood Nexus anymore because Hero Duel is dead. Yep. And Lictors are not instinctive behavior. So, actually, do I? Because I do care. So he's going to do his little Hive Nexus. On a six, it goes off. So, he's now an 18-inch Okay, before, creature. does Hive Tyrant have any? Oh, yes. Okay, then I'll There wait. are uh, two coming from him and two coming yeah, from I'll them. Wait. <laughs> and I... You are within 24. Yep. Too bad. Now, are we within 12 here? Because if you're within 12, you perils on doubles with him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be my only hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's his first because of Renaissance Barb. He's going to smite your little yep. dudes, and it's the first time he's been able. It goes off on a five, barely. <laughs> okay, four, one, one damage. damage. You have displeased. No, you've got a chain axe. You've displeased displeased me. Okay. All right. Since they actually made chain act, chain swords worth it now. Zone Thropes have a 24 inch smite, which means yeah, they are they going to pop that uh, front dude. They do with a seven. Doing. Doing four damage to him. Yeah, I do you believe those guys are five wounds? They are gross. I know that. Yep, five wounds. All right. So another guy just chilling with one wound. So here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do I want to re-roll that one to try and I think if you re-roll, you have to re-roll both dice now with the new rules. With damage. Um, I think re-rolling twice is only with psychic and only with well no charge re-rolling both dice. Mm -hmm. I think it's psychic and charge damage. I believe you can re-roll. Let's look. Separately. Yep. Since we can. Yep. 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 All right. Yeah. Not terrain stratagems. Command re-roll. Reroll that roll, test, or saving throw. So it is both dice. Okay, well, I will keep it at five then. Because that hurts him. Yes. Really bad. Yes. Next, they are going to catalyst. So hold on. Was that five damage or four? Because it's a D3. Four okay. damage. So I was going to say, if it was line. five, he no, died. No, he's, he's, he's still alive with one wound. Yep. Now they're going to catalyst the Swarm Lord. Goes off on a six. Oh, yeah. Goes He's off. got a hat. Here, I'll hat him. Yay! Hat on the Swarm Lord. Swarm Lord hat. The true ultimate upgrade of the Swarm Lord. Yes. Add a hat. Okay, <laughs> what's Swarmy doing? Swarm Lord is now going to Psychic Scream. Okay. Goes off on a five. Oh, or so seven. Cool. I saw those doubles. That would have been great to see that, that would have been. So, so tempting to deny with the master possession. Oh, you did not get the denial. Hold oh. on, master possession. Do you have anything? Come on, tell me you've got something. He's not an Eldar. I know, but still, there is no Eldar trickery here. Come on. He's a very basic psyker, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, nope, that's it. Right, right, so, that's a dead possessed. Yep. Because no matter what, he's dead. Yep, he died. Next, the Swarm Lord is going to smite. Yep. Closest will be those obliterators. Yep. This has to be on a seven. Gets it. Okay. For a damage on an obliterator. So that brings this guy down to three. Luckily, the closer ones were the... Uh, yeah, no kidding. Not almost dead guy. Okay. Shooting phase. Yep. Can you finally shoot people? Yes, yes you, can. you can. All right. So, with... There's my other dice. Whee! 
With twin death spitters. Hitting on fours. Um, yeah, hitting on fours. <laughs> oh my god. Why couldn't you have been that for mm -hmm. this freaking hive tyrant? Strength seven versus toughness four. Five. Oh yeah, they got plus one toughness. Still three. Yeah, still three. Oh, those should have been hitting on fives because yes, you are have. behind cover. However, it was all fives and six. Yep. So this is three wounds. Three wounds at minus one AP. So I get rid of your cover bonus. Yep. So three ups. Wow, really? Wow. Flat one damage. So no add to the uh, counters. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to make your uh, charge a little charge bit harder. Just a little bit harder. So we'll remove this from that guy. There you go. All right. Venom Cannon is going to try pumping his shots into the, uh, well, the only ones they can choose are those yep. Chaos Space Marines. Or, I don't know if that's 36 inches. Yeah, well, and that'd be a rough shot too. It will be Passing a through a crap ton of terrain. It will be a rough shot. Actually, he's got very nice clear view to those obliterators. Yes, but it goes base to base, so it's still a situation where you're nope. shooting through terrain. 36 inches. No, I'm, I'm not doubting it, but you're going to lose. You're going to have that minus one to hit. That's fine. All right. Because killing obliterators sounds like a good... I can't Dude, kill the back one, though. If you can kill the obliterators, I'll pretty much call GG. Because they're about the only thing holding my army together. Yeah, so he's actually going to attempt to fire yep. on the obliterators. So, number of shots. For one. Hitting on... We're going to call it a five. Because it's normally a four, right? Normally a four for yep. him. No. Nope. All right. So, end of shooting phase. We have... Oh, Biovore never shot, did he? Nope. Okay. So, Biovore. He's aiming at the back obliterator. Jeez. He doesn't hit! Yay! I love that. Is your obliterator going to waste his shooting <laughs> on a freaking spore mine? I might have to. <laughs> okay, now end. Yep. Going to jump yourself. Swarm Lord is going to jump himself. And yeah, he's going to howdy ho over to here like this. Okay. Because of charge chase. Mm -hmm. They are within three inches of him. He explodes. Mm -hmm. Two through five deals a mortal wound. Six, D3 mortal wounds. So I saw that one coming. It explodes and one man dies. That one has displeased me. All right. Charge phase. Let's do the easy charge here. Yep. And we're actually going to multi-charge your obliterators and your greater possessed. And we will definitely overwatch. All right. So go ahead and roll for... Oh. <laughs> um, that will... I think that is definitely a... Yeah, you're still good with a three. Okay, so he's going to make it. <laughs> that was close, though. I mean... Oh, Jesus. All right. Now... All right, so before firing Overwatch, strength of shot, strength nine, needed, two AP, not quite not as, as needed. needed, three damage, needed. Oh, uh, I need a lot of sixes. Yep. So, first wave. Come on, sixes. One. Yeah, we'll take the one. Wounding on a three. Yep, because only toughness seven. Does wound. Minus two. Minus two, so it's a four up in vuln. Three damage. Okay, so that's three. Five ups. no pains. 
wherever I can get them. <laughs> All right. And it hurt my swarmy. <laughs> Only one. For a damage, you will wow. hurt my swarmy. All right, second wave. Nothing. Thank God. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, next up. Dean Steelers. And no Overwatch. No Overwatch. So I'm not playing my Tau. Yep. One of there. these days, I am playing Tau against your nids. Yeah. Just so yeah, I no. can have the... No, we need to have another Tyrannifex versus Storm Surge fight. Because that got gross. So... Yeah, you only need like a four inch charge. They need, yeah, four inch charge. So they are going to charge those guys. <laughs> oh God! All right. Okay. Next. At the end of that charge, just we're that. going to try and uh, long bomb the Brood Lord, needing a nine inch charge onto the Greater Possessed and. Chaos Space Marines. No. Nope. So, I'm going to command point this. Going down to one CP. One CP. No. Nope. He is not making it in. That is some... Which is disappointing because I actually did want him to get in so my greater possess could smack him a bit. Yep. But, beyond that, this is not looking good for no. your guys. No, not at all. However, you have command points. I do, but I'm not going to waste them on this kind of situation. You're not going to waste them on letting a greater possessed interrupt if I choose these guys first? No. Um, yeah, I've got some other plans for all of my CP. All right. As long as you're not tricksing me. No. Okay. Chain Stealers are going in. This is four attacks for eight. Guys, so 32 so, dice. We're going to drop these down here and pull out my uh, break of 36. Get rid of four of them. And I get to feel like I'm an orc player again. Yes. Come back here, dice. Okay. 36 attacks. You know, I blame Keith for my demon prints. I do. After having the Imperium insta-kill him, he's never recovered. He's never been in the right set of mind. Saying these damn blonde-ass sisters kicked my ass into yep. oblivion. Okay. Hitting on threes. Okay. No, hitting on twos because Broodlord's nearby. Yep. Yeah, those are, those are some dead space marines. Yeah, I think so, too. Especially However, since how I couldn't hit with a single one of them. <laughs> this is only wounding on fours. Yes. No, wounding on fives. Yeah. Toughness five. Toughness five. That's right. So, you might actually be surviving this. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done playing. Unless I play an Imperial player, I'm only playing Bile. Because the added toughness, added strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe playing against Tau players. Or Eldar. Well, Black Legion and some of the other stuff. For basic Chaos Space Marines, they're specifically anti-Imperium. Yeah. So All I'm right. glad they put out Bile. Wounding on fives. Sixes are not really important right now because AP1 really... I don't know, maybe they are important for right now. Who knows? Okay, so. Four basically instant, because they are minus four. Yep, so that's four instant deaths. And then three, seven at minus one. If you don't mind, I'll just yep. taint your dice. You go ahead. So three more, that pretty much wipes the squad. Okay, so Team Steelers did their job. Yep. Goodbye. And now... Over to here. No, now they get to move their pile in. 
Uh, you or mean consolidate. They're consolidate? Yep. But if you do consolidate within half an inch, I get to smack. Oh, well, that's fine. They only consolidate three. So. You're just basically bringing them around the wall. Yeah, bring them around the wall. Make it so you can have an easy charge against me. <laughs> oh, come on. You know you want to charge my gene stealers. I mean, That's I'm what they just did. Eventually, and we'll see how good Fabius Biles' pimp cane is. <laughs> you would think his arms were his attack. But uh, no. You do have the option of the arms. But his they're pimp not cane as good. is the better one. Yeah. Well, I might have to do the arms just because of the mass numbers you have there. Yep. You know, and luckily, I don't have any way of uh, interrupting you for next turn, so you will be wiping some of them out. Yep. Okay. Now we come to the main stage of wherever I put my white dice. Six attacks with the Swarm Lord. How are you splitting it? That's the question, isn't it? So... I want your greater possessed dead. Yeah. Because that gives me points. I and want your obliterators dead. He's also given that extra plus one aura. Mm -hmm. So, we have six attacks coming at you. Let's go get the next one. And a tail. Mm hmm So, we're going to actually put two of them into the obliterators okay so six attacks hitting on twos wait this is what i meant by okay shenanigans so this is going to the obliterator or the greater possessed these are the greater possessed okay then i'm giving him that minus one thing that i tried to do to minus one to hit him yep okay so threes hitting. yes Watch it, I'll be fives and sixes, and I wasted a command point. Nope. Yeah, I mean, you say that command point one. got you one. Strength eight versus toughness five, so threes. Oh, that hurts. Hurts the soul a little bit. One five up, because I didn't do cursed earth. Yep. Hey, we're good. Yeah, awesome. Now the two into the obliterators, hitting on twos. Both hit. Wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. Both wound. AP three. So five ups again. Yep. No, they both go through. Flat three damage. So that takes him out immediately. And, and then leaves him that down to two. One wound. Oh, they have four? Yes. Oh, okay. For some reason I was thinking five, but that's because they grew to possess there. Yeah. All right, now the tail going into... Yeah, that little obliterator hits. Doesn't wound. Nice. All, All right. right. So smacking back. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the greater possessed, who was charged. Yes, he was. So are your so, obliterators. They both get the hateful stuff. Because well, there's only one left. Yeah. Well, so, I can't do any interrupting shenanigans. That's true. So, it's, so the six. And greater possessed hit on. Should be twos. I think it is. If not, no one yeah, it is twos. Is suffering. <laughs> All right, so hitting on twos. Can't re-roll the ones. Hey, I can't re-roll them either. So. Okay, now strength is strength six. And that's it because he doesn't get anything from his own buff. No, nope. toughness seven. So fives. You get one. I get one that is one that went through me. at Three minus two. Up. Because of bone savers and blade parry. That's something I'm looking forward to changing. Because I... you know, you know they're going to change that in the next codex since they drop storm shields up to four. He's going to go to a four up invul. He's already got a four up in Bowman. I know, but with the swords, it's probably going to do the same thing as Storm Shields, where it adds one to the armor safe. I would hope not. I hope so. 
That is so broke to have. No, a, if he was a two up with Blade Perry, it makes sense because he's moving his blades. Yeah, but fast there's enough. almost nothing now that does three up invulns. I mean, you got select units, but it has to be a very special. Well, if Gilliman can, why can't he? Because Gilliman's a Primarch, and GW loves the. He's yeah. a Swarm Lord. <laughs> okay, so are you rerolling that? No. All right, so D3 damage, taking three. All right. Three five ups. Three five up, feel no pains. There's one of them, so only two damage. And then. The Obliterator's gonna have fun trying to smack him. Four attacks from the Obliterators. There's only one of them. Hitting on threes. The Obliterators oh, having four base attack is gross. Yeah. And then it's strength plus one. So they were strength six, strength seven, strength eight. So wounding on threes. Yep. Oh, are you serious? Just one. Three up save. Yeah, you're Makes fine. It. Okay. All right. That is my turn. Okay, so what do you get for secondaries? Um, I did not kill another character. You did get to play scramblers, two of them. I need a third one before I get my 15. Oh, okay. So what we'll do is we'll do XX for the play scramblers. Mm-hmm. Um, assassinate, you did not kill a character. Nope. And first strike, we're done. Yep. All okay, right. the start of turn three, Chaos Space Marines. This is looking rough. We we just don't have a lot to save us. I mean, poor Fabius. It's pretty sad that I can cover my entire battlefront from one side of the board. <laughs> yeah, I have to move around to, to see what I So, got. command phase, we're back up to 4 CP. And then movement. I honestly think you should have interrupted with that greater possess. Uh, against a three up, it just would have been two CP for low game. I mean, you saw it. I only got one dice out. We are talking about my rolls. True. A normal player maybe could have done better. But we are talking about my rolls. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to fall him back if he ever gets untangled. There you go. There's your hat back. Sorry. <laughs> we are also going to follow this guy back in the same direction. Greater Possessed is going to step over here. This Obliterator, who should have a dice because he's only got one wound left. Yep. It's just basically going to keep going four inches and going, screw this shit. We weren't paid enough for yeah, this. Yeah, we're not paid enough for this. <laughs> we're not paid at all. <laughs> Between what happened when we left the uh, Black Legion, hooked up with Bile, little do we know what shit goes on in the Bile area, what he does for fun to us. All right, so at the end of movement over here, Bile's going to enhance the last Greater Possessed, and he's toughness as well. Because why not? Yeah. All right. Well, that was cool for movement. <laughs> Psychic phase. Psychic phase. Um, so you're going to perform your I action. have to, to try and get the points. So I only got five points for my primary. Oh. I haven't moved you from it. No. But I really haven't needed to. No. So we've got another psychic ritual hopefully going down. I haven't killed any of your gene stealers, have I? You killed none of them. Yeah, yeah. I saved all the shots you poured into them. Because I'm counting each model that dies. For oh. this that's why I picked that your one because I expected models, yeah. yeah, I expected to be able to kill more. Okay. So I am currently sitting at 14 points behind. <laughs> so yeah, I have to do the old psychic thing. So going off on a three, it does go off with a seven. Okay. Swarm Lord. Oh, thank God that, wait, hold on. Yep, yeah, you're, I'm, I don't think it's for denials. Let's I see, think it's only I, for I can pray, I can pray, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, only on psychic tests. Yeah. Damn it. There's your double. There's my only chance for periling you. Damn it. All right, well, at least it goes off. Yeah. 
So there's that. Um, One more turn, right? And shooting phase. <laughs> so we've got the three pistols from our good man Fabius. All hits? No, Fabius. He's only a three up. Oh no, he is a two up. Cool. Okay, so they so all, all hit. Hits. And that is strength. Always oh, wounds, wounds on, on the two. two. Yep. Unless it's a vehicle. So all three wounded at minus two. Five up in Volns for Gene Steelers. Guess wow, what? we finally killed some things. You killed three gene stealers. Um, they are in synapse. Six up, feel no pains because I am high fleet yep. Leviathan. So, nope. We actually killed some gene stealers. What do you know? <laughs> we killed some gene stealers. That's... You know it's a bad game for me if I'm praising three gene stealer kills. Yeah. Yeah, that is a very, very bad... That's my highlight. Three Gene Stealer kills. Okay, this one... <laughs> obliterator. This one obliterator. Why not? Let's see what happens. Okay, for strength. So plus that'll two. be plus two. So that's eight. Plus Minus two. two for AP. Now here's the thing we really need. Oh my <laughs> god, one damage. This is just... This is heartbreaking, folks. Heartbreaking. So I do believe they're hitting on threes. Let's double check it. Obliterator. Yep, bliss six hill three. All right. Wounding on threes. Yep. Wounding on fours if it's seven. No, because it's strength six plus three or plus two is strength eight. Okay, yeah. So I threes. can't count. So three wounds. Yep. At minus two, not that it matters. Four up in vol. So two are going through. Well, I can't. I've and I can't. Even, I couldn't even re-roll that if I wanted to. Okay. So two five ups. Is that flat two damage? Flat one damage. Okay, two five ups. Nope. No. So. It's pretty sad that I'm dinging this thing to death. All right. Actually, and then, oh yeah, that, that was the catalyst. Yep, that was the catalyst. Okay, as much as I'm afraid of that thing right there, we've got to pour the fire in. So, one crack grenade. Oh no, you're outside of six inches, so it has to be a bolt pistol. So, we'll throw that in with the one, two, three, four, five, six bolt guns. No. Because that's rapid fire. So, misses anyways. So, the five that are doing rapid fire. Thank you. So, there's six. Ten. All right, here we go. Threes and fives. All right, fives. Wow. Wow. Now we start getting rolls. Really? Four of them. Four of them. No AP, though. No, because Chaos gets boned. So, three up armor. And we'll just nickel and dime you to death. Right. Five up, feel no pain. Nope. So, you have put him into his second bracket. All right. Heavy bolter. <laughs> what? <laughs> And not even enough to... <laughs> this is just... Wow. Yeah. All right. Charging phase. Why not? <laughs> Greater possessed. It's... Greater possessed. First one. He gets six to charge in. He's in. He's going to come all the way over here. Second one. With a four. He's in. He's going to come right there. Fabius. Fabius. Oh my god, with the two, I think he still gets in. Yeah, he's in. But wow, now I've rolled snake eyes. All right, let's have some fun and just start with Fabius because we've never really seen him do his thing. So, Fabius Bile. Um, How many base attacks? So, he normally gets four attacks. Mm -hmm. And then he gets, with the Chirurgeon... Make three additional attacks with this weapon. So, seven attacks. He is an Astartes. So, eight attacks. 
All right, hitting on twos. How many ones can Ed roll tonight? All of them. Fucking five ones. <laughs> right. And it is strength four, so Stop wounding on four. fours. <laughs> so two wounds out of eight hits. <laughs> okay. Minus two. Five up in bones. Oh my god. <laughs> you killed a gene stealer, Ed. <laughs> okay, his little surgeon dude. He gets one attack. He hits. <laughs> uh strength. No, because he he's strength. Work. Yeah, he's strength four with the added buff. Okay, that was fun. So <laughs> The uh, greater possessed, please, gods, do something better with the greater possessed. <laughs> so normally gets five attacks, gets six because of charge, charging shenanigans, shock assault, basically hitting on twos. There's still a one, and then wounding on threes. Strength five versus toughness four. So strength six, seven, toughness four. Toughness four. So still three. Threes. Should have added on the strength. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so three at minus Doesn't two. matter. Five up in bones. Oh, there we go. And I forgot. Six ups. Yep. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. The second greater possessed. Those are D3 damage. So yep. So it, anyways. But yeah. those three die... I rolled that fourth one because of the one you killed. Yep. So, <laughs> twos. Continuing to get ones. I'm afraid to see Ed's one counter at this point. <laughs> Wounding on threes. Some more ones. So, three again. Okay. Oh, That's my disgusting. God. <laughs> That's <laughs> disgusting. Sorry, Ed. Um, <laughs> okay. um so, I didn't know you were playing the Immortal Nids today. Technically, all Nids are immortal, Ed. God, we are just biomass <laughs> that gets slowly sucked back up and re-spit out. Okay, you know what? We're gonna... Chaos is calling GG at the end of this turn. <laughs> but for shits and giggles, for Master Possession. In with an 8. <laughs> Obliterator. In with a 7. Let's, just because, I know I should have declared charges earlier, but it's GG. Yeah. Why not? Let's see what happens. God damn, dude. All right, Master Possessions gets three attacks. Hitting on threes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. We're no, we're done. We're, we're <laughs> so after three turns. The Tyranids utterly wiped out <laughs> the Chaos Space Marines oh on this battle report. Oh my god. I thought I was going to be good with Fabius. Uh, you know, uh, this is my thing. How scary and how bad of this game would have been if I didn't have all those plus one strengths. Yeah. This would have even been a worse battle. Yeah, uh, or imagine this. You with first turn. <sighs> now, me with first turn, this game could have gone a lot differently, mm -hmm. but... A uh, Herodol might not have eaten a Lord of Skulls. Yeah, I would have loved to see if the Lord of Skulls would have survived, or my damn demon prince! <laughs>